Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so Design Space has a new feature. It's called kerning. Um, we, you know, if you use any other software, when you type and you use a cursive font, for example, it automatically comes connected, right? Um, but before, uh, Design Space would separate each letter. So you would have to either ungroup it and move it closer, or you would have to um, decrease the line, the space in between, but it never really worked out all that great, right? Especially, I mean, think about if you have to do like a super long list. Anyway, so now that they have it, I wanna show you still, it's better than nothing, better than before, but you're still gonna have issues. So I wanted to show you this up here, this is the font that I'm using. It's called Hannah Berry Coo from Creative Fabrica. It's one of my favorite fonts because it's whimsical, but not thin. It looks thin, it looks delicate, but it isn't, so it's low maintenance. I love it. It cuts and weeds really well. All right, so it's one of my favorite fonts, like I said, and I use it all the time. So you can see this is what it's supposed to look like when I type out Charlotte. There is the space between the A and the R. The R has this loop that's above, that's kind of big. And then the double T is kind of offset and then one nice long stroke for the T across, right, to cross it here. You can see with Design Space new kerning feature, my R is really close to the A, as well as the W, the double T's come out literally as double T's. And so you have this weird thing up here. Now it comes out like this, you're still gonna need to weld, okay? So let's talk about that because if you don't weld, let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna ungroup it for a second. Um, it may look okay except for the T, but this is actually what it, what it will look like. I'm gonna bring this O forward and you see where the O cuts on top of the T? All of these letters, just because we can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. Um, I will show you here. I'm gonna bring, if you bring these letters forward one by one, you'll see how it cuts into the other letter. So the way this would cut as is, is the C would cut all the way around here into your H, which we don't want. Same thing, you see the O, that little tip, and then the T is gonna cut down through this little tip of the O. So each letter individually will still cut out and it's not what we want. So no matter what, let me, um, I'm gonna duplicate this because I wanna show you another option afterwards. But at the very least, what you need to do is you need to weld it. And okay, there it is. So I'm gonna move this over because we're gonna work on that in a minute. But this right here, what you want to do is you want to grab all of it and you want to weld it. When you're welding, basically think of it as painting. Like if the paint was in there, it would flow throughout all your letters beautifully, right? So here, I don't love the way this T looks right here. Um, this doesn't look that crazy. It only looks crazy because I know what it looks like down here, right? All right, so... Now what I would do is I feel like no matter what now, you're you're always gonna wanna use some sort of font manager anyway because Design Space doesn't allow you to have all those little swirls, like flourishes that make the font so beautiful and makes you wanna buy it in the first place, right? So let me show you the one that I use. I use, and this is free, it's called MainType. So you can go and Google MainType and download the free version. Um, I'm gonna ignore it for now. Okay, so my font is Hannah Berry Koo, right? So I'm just gonna go down and find Hannah Berry Koo, and here it is. So you can see all the different options that it comes with, okay? So let's start from the top just so that we can see. So from the top, you have your um, capital letters, and then this looks pretty regular. This is when you get to like, um, let's scroll down some more. This is where you get some different options. Like you see that W, the W has like the little swoosh at the top. And then let's look at the Bs. The two Bs, you have something like if the 
first letter of your word starts with a B, you can have this little flourish right here. So this is when you start to see the fancier stuff and then it gets really fancy down here. And then somewhere here, we should also see what the double T looks like. So here is a double T right here. And then we should somewhere, I mean, there's so many options, right? But let me show you. So let's look at a C that we like, or this H. So if you click on it and you right click, you can copy to clipboard or you can just, or and you see if you hold down on it, you can see what it looks like, okay? So that's the H. I'm gonna hit Control C, okay? Go into Design Space. And in here, you open up a text box. When you open up this text box, it has to be the same font that you want to bring in. So we want to bring in Hanaberry Koo, that special H. You have to have Hanaberry Koo selected up here, and then in your text box, you're going to hit Control V. And there's my H. Okay, so what you want to do is you then bring this H over. You're going to use this original H at least I do, I use it so that I can gauge the size. So this looks perfect, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna take this H, I'm gonna move this H out, I'm gonna put this H in, and it's gonna look like this. Now, right now, I feel like there's too much space between these two, but I want the C to attach itself to the H right around here. So what you can do is, it would be easier, let me move everything over for a second. So let's scoot this over. Okay, so now it's by itself, okay. So I'm gonna grab the C and the H and I'm just gonna move it over there, okay? Now let's see if we have a, um, I'm not gonna deal with the R right now. Let's go back to here because I saw the double T. So here's the double T, right? I'm going to hit Control C, go back to Design Space, and open up my text. And it should still be in Hanaberry Coup, right? So here I'm gonna hit Control V, and there's my double T. Much better than that one, right? So let's make this the right size so it looks good. So that looks up about right. So let's move this T out of the way, this T out of the way, and we're going to put in our double T. And it's going to look like that. And let's go fancy up our E while we're here. <laughs> so let's go to back to main type and let's see if we have some sort of beautiful E at the end. Um, let's see. And you're also gonna have those combinations when you have an S and a T and like double F, right? So you can see all of it here. Sorry, I'm like trying, oh, I think this is the, the R, the, oh, this R has a heart in it. Okay, so let's do this one, Control C, go back to Design Space, um, open up a text box and drop that in there. Okay, so, and I'm not saying you wanna do this uh, this this sh Charlotte is gonna look really out of control. <laughs> it's got so much going on, right? So this one isn't the right one. Oh, there it goes kind of up, but then that's not gonna connect with my R. So that one's gonna be too much. Okay, that's not the right R. Let's go back to font type. Let's. Um, we're still looking for that beautiful E at the end, right? Okay. Where can I find it? Let's see, here we go. But this E doesn't work because I need the, the, the swirl to be at the end of the E, right? So let's see, where is this thing? I think I passed it, I did, okay. Okay, here we go. Let's say this E, okay? So Control C, because it's highlighted. Back to Design Space. And I'm gonna drop it in, oops. I need to op open up my text box and then drop it in here. Okay, so there's my E, perfect. That's too big. And let me move this over a little bit. Too 
much. Okay, it could be a little bit smaller, but you get the point. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna drop this E in. All right, let's grab this whole thing and we need to weld it. And there you go. So um, it's definitely still way better than it was before because before I would have had to move all my letters, but at least now it's all connected. I can still fancy it up. I even if it was working perfectly, you would still need to have something else to bring in these extra swirls. So even if the double T worked, um, all these extra characters, glyphs, you still need some, some other way to bring it in. And for me, I really like, this is super easy for me to use. It's main type, it has all your fonts. Um, you can scroll over here, you click on it to see it better. And then if you like it and it's still highlighted, control C and then control V into design space. Just remember the only thing is it only works if you have the correct text box open. So your text up here, oops, your text up here has to have the font. So you can mix fonts. Let's say I liked Hanaberry Koo, but I like another one like Floristia. I, I mix fonts all the time. You can still do that. Whatever letter or glyph or whatever that you're dropping in, it has to be that font. So the whole thing could be Hanaberry Koo, but I wanna drop in a beautiful E from Floristia. I wanna make sure that my font is then changed to Floristia, open up my font box and drop it in there. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know. I would love to hear your comments and questions. See you next time.